Hi everyone. So now that the monsoon is finally here in full swing, I thought this was the right time to talk about nutrition in monsoon. While we think of uh, monsoon, the first thing that rings a bell is a plate of pakora or the samosas and the bhajiyas along with a piping hot tea. Uh, we have these memories associated with monsoon, but what we need to really understand is that nutrition becomes slightly crucial at the time of monsoon or whenever there is a shift in season. Monsoon is really a time of relief, uh, you know, a relief from that scorching heat, relief from uh, the bad weather and, and we move into the rains with a lot of happiness. This is a weather which is not only good for us, but also for the viruses and the bacteria in the microorganism. Because of the dampness and the humidity in the environment, the microorganisms are able to thrive. It is like a push to them for, for growing. So then what happens, uh, you know, uh, the, the fruits and the vegetables that we generally, uh, uh, you know, eat become slightly tricky and I'm going to talk all about them. Also, the immunity uh, or the digestive system goes through a shift uh, around this time and thereby the immunity is slightly low and one needs to be extremely careful about what we eat, how our body is going to digest it so that then we are able to give it right nutrition. So our gut is basically what our digestive system is. If our gut is strong, our immunity is strong. So around this time, we need to ensure that our uh, our gut is getting the right things that it really needs. Uh, number one, so let's talk about what is it that we should be avoiding. Number one, uh, avoid street food. While it is very uh, tempting to have those pakoras and bhajiyas and samosas, um, it will be a great thing if we either make it at home because we know you know the kind of uh, hygiene that's being maintained the kind of products that we're using the kind of oil that we're using so those uh, you know precautions are being taken care of or if you have to have to get it from outside then look for a place which is trustworthy which is hygienic which maintains good standards um, number two don't have too much of caffeine uh, caffeine um, in your daily routine just because it's monsoon because it can affect your gut health and thereby um, you know have immunity related issues because if you see come monsoon people are down with uh, cold and fever and throat infection so you need to make sure that you're taking care of your immunity so don't have too much of caffeine in your diet um, number three is green leafy vegetables while we always advocate and talk about having a lot of green leafy vegetables monsoon is the time when you need to cut down on it or have it from a very very uh, authentic or trustworthy uh, source now why do I say cut down on it like I said in this weather the microorganisms grow they really flourish and so with the green vegetables it is a risk during the monsoon time so either you um, you know get it from a very very authentic source and then soak it in salt water uh, make sure you rub it nicely and then use it and don't make sm uh, smoothies of green leafy vegetables in the monsoon it's okay to have soup so let's say instead of having a spinach smoothie if you get your spinach from a trustworthy source have a spinach soup um, and no raw vegetables when it comes to salads like your cucumbers and tomatoes and carrots they are important for the kind of um, nutrition that it brings on the table but again make sure that you're washing them thoroughly soaking them in salt water so that's on the raw fruits and vegetables also avoid buying pre-cut fruits and vegetables in monsoon this is not a good idea also avoid lot of frying so uh, while you're having you're enjoying your monsoon evenings with samosas and pakoras don't have them on daily basis once a week is is good enough 
you need to also make sure that you're taking care of the water intake we one um, we tend to uh, we tend to kind of reduce the water intake because we don't feel so thirsty so you need to make sure that your water intake is good also avoid outside water um, if you're not sure of the source so for example when you go to a restaurant ask for a bottled water rather than a regular water especially during monsoon um, make sure that you wipe your plates and your glasses thoroughly before using when you're eating outside so these are some of the precautions that you must take now what is it that you should be doing um, you can go heavy on your pulses add all sorts of pulses available add sprouts that's where your vitamin c and minerals can also come when you germinate basically when you sprout the pulses the nutrition increases threefold so you can use a lot of sprouted pulse you can use a lot of sprouted grains you can uh, you know sprout your quinoa you can sprout your ragi so a lot of these things will make sure that your Though you're not able to use a lot of raw vegetables, you're still getting your vitamins and minerals. Also, drink a lot of herbal teas. One for immunity, two also it gives you a nice and uh, you know calm feeling. So a chamomile tea or a infused tea, your green tea, zira and soft tea. These are the things that you should really add in your diet during this weather. Um, make sure that you're cooking your food very well during monsoons um, make sure that you're adding disinfectant to your bathing water um, because as we step out one of course the covid times also the monsoons so adding disinfectant in your bath water uh, could be a good option and eat in moderation yes the, you know in the scorching heat you don't feel like eating so the appetite naturally um, kind of goes down um, but comes monsoon because of the weather because of the variety available uh, make sure that you're not overeating any more questions on monsoon and nutrition do get back to me th uh, through comment section and i will get back to you don't forget to like and share with your family and friends and press the subscribe button. Thank you. We'll talk again. Bye-bye.